Hey guys, this video is a quick internet speed test and comparison of two companies that actually service my area. One company is what I have currently, the AT&T Uverse, and uh, we're also going to test the Atlantic Broadband Internet Service, which is the other um, major internet provider in my area. Unfortunately, we don't have Comcast coverage and uh, um, by the way, I live in Miami, Florida. The Comcast covers the street, um, covers on the other side of the street, but not on our side, so which is a bummer. But the new service I get is supposed to be a little bit quicker than the Uverse internet, but uh, we're going to test both speeds and see if they live up to their claims. This is Uverse. Their claim speed is, for what I have, is 25 meg down and I think four max up. So let's do the test. And I've had Uverse for about three years now. I just want to get a different service provider to see if there are any other alternatives to Uverse. So right now you see the upload speed is 29 max. Um, it's because it actually uses about five max of the bandwidth for. Um, for the TV service, so like the TV takes about five meg. So right now, if I'm turning on the TV and I'm doing recording, it's gonna be twenty five. So right now, it's the upload speed. It's about four point five max per second, and uh, okay, so that's that's about average uh, for what I get for the last year or so, and. Um, now I'm going to actually switch my cable and uh, hook up the uh, Atlantic Broadband and see what the speed is. So give me a few seconds and I'm going to put my phone down. Okay, so I actually just connected my uh, new cable internet. So we're gonna redo the speed test and see how fast it is for the new service. All right, so actually right now you can see it's actually connected to Atlantic Broadband. It's a service I just installed today, so let's give it a try. I haven't even connected it before. So it'll be interesting to see the speed. And uh, from what they claim on the website, they claim it have a 60 meg download speed and uh, a 6 meg upload, but obviously this is not to their claims. And it's quite disappointing because I really wanted to keep the service because um, to me I think the upload speed is more important. But if their download speed is only 15.8 megs, that's, that's not very good. But the good thing is the upload speed is a little bit quicker. It's about 6.58 uh, megabits per second. And also the latency, which is the pin, it's a little bit lower than the Uverse service. I think the Uverse had about 20 to 25 milliseconds of the um, latency speed. but. This is my first test, so I'm going to test again and see if it actually improves. Interestingly, it's only 17 max. If we go to their website, uh, you can see they actually advertise a much faster internet speed. So I don't know why. Let's see. This is their um, 
user portal. The entire internet, I mean, it feels a little bit sluggish. I don't know if it's because their service is just sluggish or what. So let's see. So it goes to their internet service and says crazy fast internet. Obviously, it's not crazy fast. It's not even faster than Uverse. And I know um, Comcast actually offer much much higher speed in terms of download and upload. So this is actually a little disappointing for me. So we can test the speed from their website. And it's just weird. Their entire website is messed up. Anyway, um, well, there is your connection, um, I mean, speed test. I mean, I can hook up the Uverse and test again, and it should be, it should have a faster download speed, but a slower upload speed. Um, I guess now it's to me to make a decision whether to keep the Uverse or keep the new Comcast, I mean, the Atlantic Broadband service. But for all you guys out there, that, that lives in Miami, that doesn't have Comcast coverage, only have Uverse or Atlantic Broadband, this is the speed you're gonna get. Um, and unfortunately, it's not up to their claimed download speed um, maximum. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below, and I'll be happy to answer for you guys, and take care. Okay, so in previous videos, I've actually did a speed test comparing the ATT Uverse and Atlantic broadband internet speed um, and in that test I've only was able to get 16 meg um, download speed on the Atlantic broadband um, compared to its advertised 60 meg download speed um, and I think I have just figured out why it was the speed was very slow it's actually because of this uh, signal splitter um, that the technician installed on back of my uh, cable modem and it looks like uh, try to show the model number I don't know what or why the, he put this signal splitter on here because I've only had internet access I don't need the cable TV service so this is probably not needed so I took it off and I reboosted my modem and uh, I'll show you guys the new test results after removing that splitter for the Atlantic broadband. And now you see the speed is actually at their advertised 60 meg, or it's even like two megs more than the speed they advertised for downloading. And we'll take a look at the upload speed as well. So um, you guys should disregard what I said about the Atlantic Broadband service uh, in the previous video or in the previous section because based on this new test after removing the cable splitter the result is very very good. So if you guys are actually considering switching from Uverse to a cable company and you don't have Comcast Xfinity coverage in Miami um, you should give Atlantic Broadband a try because the speed is really good. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a great day.